Mawa de Toten's main Easter egg has a lot to offer. And at this point, I'm sure most of you have completed the Easter egg and you're probably wondering what else there is to do. Well, today we're going to be going over every single known side Easter egg in Mawa de Toten. So in your next game, you can jump in with your friends with the knowledge and be able to get some really awesome rewards early on. While some of you will be aware of some of these side Easter eggs, I highly encourage you to watch this all the way to the end anyway, because you will learn something new. I made a video like this for D Machina and Firebase Z and I'll make one for every future map. So if you like the sound of that subscribe starting things off let's start with the first side easter egg that you can do as soon as you turn the power on now i'd advise you save this easter egg for a little later in the game as this easter egg rewards you with a ether tool upgrade allowing you to upgrade your weapon rarity by one tier for absolutely free to do this easter egg make your way back to the apartment rooftops and you'll notice this new document here on the corner of the building which wasn't there before picking up this document is going to start this easter egg which is a target practice with five moving targets in total the first target appears between this Konig house logo. The second is in this lit up window set below that building. The third will move through the corporate logo building sign. The fourth is going to be on this top floor window on the Der Dozenent sign. And then finally, the last one is going to go through the Der Dozenent logo. You will need to use a weapon that has a magnified optic of at least 4x or higher just because of how far away these targets go. And you want to make sure that you hit them all in time. Otherwise, you will get a failure sound. And if you fail it, you can't do this Easter egg again. You'll have to start a new game. Since these targets appear pretty rapidly, I'm going to play the clip again without me talking so you can get a good idea of remembering where you need to look to hit all five targets. Once you've shot all five targets successfully, you will see the ether tool born in front of you and you'll have a limited amount of time to pick this up. It's also not the easiest Easter egg to do on solo. So if you're doing this on co-op, have a teammate hold a zombie while you do this and you'll have no trouble at all. Now in the later rounds, since it costs so much salvage to upgrade tiers, especially tier four to five, this will allow one player to make that upgrade without spending any salvage. Really, really awesome. The second Easter egg is probably the most iconic side Easter egg in this map, and it's the Disco Bunny Easter egg. Now, I'm sure you've seen this Easter egg, and this will give you the chance at getting the Wonder Weapon for free, as well as the potential of free perks and legendary tier weapons. Now, we're going to split this Easter egg into two sections in this video, because we're going to show you how to activate it. But what a lot of people don't realize is you can actually do this Easter egg multiple times in a game. So firstly, let's show you how to activate this Easter egg and find all six bunny parts. These can be picked up in any order. Order and we're starting with the grocery store where we have one of his legs on this shelf here. Just go up to it, hold your interact button and pick it up. We're now going to go across the road into the bar and on this edge of the sofa, you're going to see his other leg sitting there. Going over to the bottom of the Corba building in the alleyway, you can find a part of his head right here. Make your way to West Berlin Street and take the grapple up to the department store. And on this shelf, you'll find the bunny's torso. The fifth bunny part can be found in this corner here in sewer access. And the final part is in hotel room 304 on this desk. Now, as soon as you pick up the final part, it's going to immediately teleport you in. And I definitely recommend that you're prepared here with at least a pack a punch weapon and some perks because this is quite tricky and you're going to be facing three separate waves of zombies. Now, inside here, we can see there's a load of zombies just dancing having a jig it's absolutely fantastic and this is why i think this is the best easter egg yet but as soon as the beat drops the zombies turn on you and they're not dancing anymore they're going to be trying to scratch your face off so you're going to have to be taking out all of these zombies in three separate waves and as the waves go on you're going to come across more difficult elite zombies and there's some zombies here that you won't find anywhere else on the map including manglers and megatons if you're getting low on ammo there is an ammo crate that you can use at the back of the club after you've successfully taken out all three waves of zombies the bunny will reward you with a max ammo and he'll let you go onto the stage where you can choose between one of three doors to receive your prize and what's really weird here is you have voyage of despair music playing whilst you're making this decision and you don't have long because it's going to teleport you away now don't get greedy you can only open one of these doors so pick wisely if you weren't lucky enough to open the 
door which has the best rarity chest and the wonder weapon you can go again as you can see i entered on round nine and the door i opened didn't have the best loot so in order to redo this easter egg and have another chance at opening the correct door all you need to do is progress 15 rounds from the start of the next round from you entering it. So I entered the room on round nine. Once I go to round 10, I then have to progress 15 rounds. And if you make your way to the East Berlin streets and look out the map, you will see that there's a sign for the actual nightclub. And this is where we get transported to. But 15 rounds later, you'll notice that on this windowsill that was empty, a stuffed bunny will now spawn in that window. And you hear a little audio cue of a squeak as well. Simply shoot the bunny with any weapon and it will teleport you back into the room and you can redo this all over again. Again. And upon entering the club for a second time, the chance of you getting the best door option increases as you see me get here with the wonder weapon and the loot chest for me to open. And just to prove that you can go into the club again, I then progress to round 41, which is 15 rounds after round 26 and the bunny appeared, I could go in again. So if on your first attempt, you don't find the best loot, you can just go back in and repeat. And I think this is absolutely amazing because all the other Easter eggs involved this in D Machine and Firebase C never let you redo it, but this lets you. The next side Easter egg is another popular one, and this is how to get a free wonder weapon, the CRBRS from the safe in the secret hotel room. Now there's a lot of guides already out there, but I want to make this as clear and precise as possible for those that may not want to do the main Easter egg, but just want to get themselves a free wonder weapon to have some fun. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to put brain rot as an ammo mod from the Pack-a-Punch onto your weapon and make your way outside this door in hotel room 305. Turn a zombie with your brain rot and the zombie will tear down the door, revealing this new room. And to the right, we have a safe that we're gonna need to crack now for that we're going to need to build klaus and to do that we need to get three parts i'm sure most of you know how to build klaus but i'll speed this up just for those that don't one part is a battery that drops from the first crans he sold at you kill and the second part is these robotic hands which you can find on the body in the hotel room 305 make your way down to the safe house put those parts onto klaus and you'll activate him now in order to crack the safe we need to find some secret numbers around the map and to do that we need a black light attachment that klaus can get for us Take Klaus to the switch control room and direct him with your tactical grenade button to this locker. We'll punch the locker and bring up a black light attachment that you'll be able to attach onto your weapon. We're now going to be visiting three locations around the map in order that have a number on the wall. And each number correlates to the safe code from left to right. So as you can see in Garment Factory, we have a one on the wall and this is going to be the first part of our code. Two numbers you'll be looking for have three locations in each area. The first spawn in here can be above this door a second spot can be on this blackboard here to the right and the third location can be under the stairs on this wall here under the i can end this graffiti in my game my first code was 06 so i'm going to note that down and move on to number two the second part of your code can be found in service passage as you can see by that too one code spot can be above this door frame here Another spot can be on this wall under this pipe here. And the last location can be back through the hall and above this box here. For me, my code was 08. So at the moment, it's 0608. Your last code location number three is in the grocery store. And your code can either be to the left of the front door next to this poster, which it is in my game here. Another spot can be marked right here in this shelf. And lastly, it can be on this wall here to the left of these shelves, which I'm marking here. So my complete code is 0. 060831. So what I want to do is make my way back to that safe and from left to right enter those numbers on each crank of the safe. So the first safe is going to be on six. The second is going to be on eight and the last is going to be on 31. Now remember, these codes will be different to what yours will be in your game, and these randomize every time you play. But if you get into a habit of building Klaus super early and getting that black light, you can guarantee getting the Wonder Weapon on round 10. Very quick and easy. Moving on to our next side Easter egg, and this is how to fully upgrade Klaus. I'm sure most of you know how to upgrade Klaus for the main Easter egg. You might not know that he can be upgraded beyond that, giving him a tier 2 and tier 3 Pack-a-Punch weapon and changing his outfit. 
fit. In order to do this, you'll first need to upgrade Klaus the first time. And that involves getting the satellite part, doing the one minute defend, which I'm sure all of you are familiar with if you've done the main Easter egg. If you aren't familiar with it, you'll need to get a microwave dish, which you can find from dig sites on either side of Pack-A-Punch in the death strip. You'll then need to attach that dish to this upgrade station in Garment Factory. And then you're going to need to activate Klaus so that he kills between 20 and 30 zombies. There are plenty of radios in every area which you can use as buy stations to buy him back in. You can track your progress and how many kills he's gotten by looking at this red monitor on the upgrade station. If this monitor is green, that means you have the kill requirement and you can move on to the next step, which is by directing Klaus into the upgrade station and it will begin a minute long defend. Once that minute is up, Klaus will be semi upgraded and we can now work on upgrading him a further two more times. Now around the map, you're going to be looking for dark green boxes with a sticker on them. There are six of these in total, but only two of them are going to be needed by Klaus. Now you can just brute force guess by having Klaus go to each of these six boxes, but there's a way to know which two you need. And that's by getting the UV black light attachment. To get this, activate Klaus and go to the switch control room and direct him near to this cabinet, which will open to reveal this light. With this, once you go to the six box locations, if two of them have a Klaus face on it, you know that's the correct one to take him to. So the first location can be found here in the hotel lounge just by stamina up and it's there on the wall. The second location is in West Berlin Street, which is underneath the department store where you'll find the Wonderfizz machine. It's just there on the wall. On the opposite side of West Berlin Street, you're going to want to grapple up to this building called Blasted Suite. And here by this zombie's window, you're going to find another box. The fourth box location can be an apartment fifth floor adjacent to the zip line right here. The fifth box can be found in the ghost station right by the maintenance tunnel and is on this wall right here. And finally, the last one is in the maintenance tunnel, which is the room just before the safe house where Klaus resides in. Either brute force it or get the UV light to know which two boxes you need. Take Klaus to these boxes and he's going to melee them. For the two correct boxes you need for Klaus, when he punches it, it should reveal a floppy disk item that you can pick up. Once you have both floppy disks, we can begin with the final steps for the upgrade. Take Klaus back to the upgrade station at the garment factory and he will step inside. You'll then get a prompt to put the floppy disk in and begin the upgrade process. After a short while, Klaus will step out as a completely different looking robot and now he's half upgraded. To get the final upgrade, we just need to direct him back into the machine once more and place in that second floppy disc and you'll see him transform from that outfit into the Ronald Reagan punk rock outfit complete with a mohawk and it's just absolutely ridiculous and for whatever reason you don't like his punk rock look you can send him back into the machine and he'll change his look again and our final side easter egg is going to be activating the hidden song a MOBA written and performed by Adolescence. In order to activate this you're going to need to find three cassette tapes hidden throughout the map. Simply collect each tape by interrupting interacting with it and it will play the song. The first tape we can find is in the garment factory which is on top of this mannequin. A second cassette tape can be found on this shelf in the electronics store in East Berlin Street and the final location can be found in the blasted suite by this flower vase which you can get to from West Berlin Street by grappling up on the left hand side. And there we have it. That is every known side easter egg in Mauer de Toten. Now there is a chance in the next few weeks that more easter eggs get solved in this map and if so then I'll update this video. But at the time of this video going out the map is still very fresh, very new and I know a ton of people want to jump in and do these easter eggs if you enjoyed this video at all a like would be super appreciated as it helps this video out in the youtube algorithm and for more guides to malda totem you can check it out all on my channel including the main easter egg itself and on top of that if you love zombies posters i've just launched a brand new set of wonder weapon blueprint posters if you've been around on the channel for a while you know that back in august i launched a pack of wonder weapon blueprints and they were incredibly popular so i've now launched a second pack where you can get yourself the ray gun mark ii the gersh device the wave gun and the ray k84 as blueprints on your wall on top of that i also have a set of cold war zombies perk posters with individual posters of each perk in a pack if you like the sound of that then please check out mrdalekjd.com forward slash shop in the link below and grab one of your own posters today